Hello there. <clears throat> In this video, I just want to give an overview of um, how we can use BX Slider in WordPress. You can see the slider here where I have it set up to be uh, like a carousel. When we click on the next button, the next three sets of images will appear and we can hit the previous button to go back to the previous three set of images and for each um, item in the carousel we have an image a heading and a short description clicking on uh, any of these images will open up a video in a light box so I'm clicking on this image so as you can see uh, this is uh, like a video carousel where clicking on an image will open up the video in a light box and the video is set to autoplay now I will show how this is set in the back end I have created a custom post type called carousel images using types plugin and currently I have six entries in the carousel images CPT if I go to one of them so the entry title is what is displayed here under the image and whatever is the content that is entered in the entry that is the body that is being shown below the title and the featured image is the main image for that entry and I have created a custom field called video URL and any URL that is entered here is the URL that this image will be linking to as to how the lightbox effect is uh, working I'm currently using Foobox which is a commercial plugin for WordPress and when you have an image linking to a YouTube video uh, for the hyperlink we just specify the class as Foobox and that automatically invokes Foobox and the image will be opening up in a light box and if you observe the URL for the video uh, for the YouTube video you can see that I have um, at the end of the URL I have ampersand autoplay is equal to 1 so this is uh, the string that we need to add at the end of a YouTube video URL to make it autoplay so now I'm going to show you the custom post type which is a carousel images that I have created using types plugin the plural name I have given it as carousel images and the singular name is carousel image and the slug I have entered that as carousel hyphen images and I have placed a tick next to the thumbnail so that <coughs> the CPT entries can have a featured image using this types plugin it is also possible to create custom fields so I've created a custom field called custom group called additional info and this particular uh, custom fields group I have specified that it should be displayed <coughs> for the carousel images post type <clears throat> and coming to the custom fields I have added a video URL field which is of the type URL 
I've specified the name as video URL. I've given the description here. And for the validation, I have ticked URL so that only URLs having HTTP or HTTPS can be entered in that custom field. I'm using a commercial plugin called Views. And within that views, there are two components, which is views and content templates. So I've gone to content template section and I've created a content template called carousel slide. And here I have the HTML, which will basically print out um, the required HTML code for the featured image, the title and the content. So as you can see here, the hyperlink for the featured image has been set to a short code and the short code basically uh, outputs the value of the video URL custom field. And we are specifying the class as foobox. So that will open up the hyperlinked URL in a light box. So that uh, highlighted short code will display the featured image if present for the entry and we are specifying the size as carousel image which I have defined in functions.php uh, using add underscore image underscore size function. So I've defined a custom image size called carousel image, uh, 212 pixels in width and 130 pixels in height. And the featured image will be shown in that custom image size. So below the image, I have uh, the title for the entry. And below that we have the body of the entry. So this content template is uh, like what uh, what is displayed in the loop. So this defines the HTML structure for what should be displayed within the loop. And when we go to views, I have created a view called video slider carousel. And here I have set the content selection to carousel images so essentially we are asking views to dis to pull the entries from the carousel images custom post type and here for the layout you can see that within the loop where uh, between this WPV loop and the closing WPV loop I have a short code uh, which is essentially telling to display the content template that we have created earlier. So within the loop, the content template gets executed and this gets run as many times as the number of entries are present in this particular CPT. And above the loop, I have uh, added some custom divs, opening divs. And after the loop, I have closed them. So coming to the code in functions.php, uh, I'm using a WP NQ scripts action, uh, which is present in WordPress. And I'm using WP NQ script functions to actually this is the relevant part.
So within the child theme um, directory, I've created a folder called JS. And in that I have uploaded or placed the main BX sliders jQuery file. And since it is dependent upon jQuery, we specify that in the array. And the true here indicates that we want this particular JavaScript file to be loaded in the footer and not in the header. And then below that I have the BX slider initialization or activation file um, which we are specifying here BX slider init.js and this depends upon BX slider which is the handle that has been defined, defined in the previous step and as to what is inside this uh, initialization file we can see here where I'm specifying the slide width the minimum number of slides the maximum number of slides the margin so that margin is the gap or the spacing uh, between two uh, entries so this gap is that 16 pixels uh, pager is equal to false by default that would be true uh, and if it is true we will be seeing circular bullets at the bottom since I didn't want them at, in this particular example I have set that to false and adaptive height is equal to true so this value is false by default uh, what this does is that it goes through all the entries and sees what is the which is the tallest one and it automatically sets the height of each of these entries to the tallest one so if I go to the next set of uh, entries uh, you can see that this particular entry is very tall all the way here so if this were false or if this line were not present then uh, all these entries also would be that tall with lot of empty space below so that's why we specify the adaptive height as true okay and coming back to functions PHP uh, we're also loading the required CSS for the BX slider Uh, so that's it. So in functions.php we essentially enqueue the required JS and CSS files and uh, <coughs> I've created a custom post type called carousel images using types. I have also created a custom field for the video URL using types and after populating the entries uh, for this particular CPT I have created a content template Mm, which will contain the required HTML to display the uh, image which links to the value of the custom field video URL and below that the heading and the content of the entry and I have placed this content template within the loop in a view and in that view we are specifying that the type the, the content type should be the custom post type which is carousel images so using types views and foo box uh, and bx slider we can create a custom content slider in wordpress with a uh, ui in the back end thank you bye